Good morning. Good morning. It's Monday morning, Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. I've got a tablespoon of butter in here and just trying to get it softened up a little hot. And um, I've got one mushroom that I cut up and a little bit of onion. Um, here are two eggs. I'm going to have these three sausages. Kind of looks like it's two sausages and a half, but half one is about the size of the other one so we'll just say three um, this is going to be my breakfast um, I'll check in with you in a little bit maybe when it's cooking okay I accidentally put the eggs in first so I was going to cook the onions and mushroom first in the butter just to get them nice but of course I got distracted and did not do that so this will be interesting. Hopefully it will still turn out okay. Because um, eggs don't take very long to cook. So you want to cook the stuff you're going to put in them first, then add the eggs. That's just a better way. My daughter suggested cooking the mushrooms and onion in a separate pan, which will, would have probably made them taste better, but then I think the eggs would have been a lot more noticeable of a flavor if they hadn't cooked with the mushrooms and the onions. So, anyway, whatever. It's fine. I'll just eat this quickly and it'll be fine. Here's my yummy breakfast. Well, hopefully it's yummy. I haven't tried it yet. And right now I'm making my morning drink. This is a whole lime that I squeezed in there because it was pretty tiny. And then I'm going to put some of this apple cider vinegar in there and then water and drink that up. Good morning again. So you saw my breakfast. Um, I haven't eaten any of it yet. I just finished taking my vitamins and um, this was full. I'm almost finished with it. It's extremely sour. Um, had a great weekend. I had a great weekend. Hope you did too. Um, last night I didn't show this. Um, we had company over, but I did have some mint chocolate chip halo ice cream. And I added a little heavy whipping cream to it just to make it um, fattier so that um, uh, it was a little more filling. And that was it. That was my day because I just had that one meal. Um, I was feeling pretty gross by, I think I started eating at like 6. So that was the first meal I ate was around 6. So I wasn't feeling so great yesterday. Um with the fasting, but um, it was manageable. I think I would have felt better if I wasn't busy making food and stuff. Um, if I could have just kind of sat sat around and had a casual day, it probably wouldn't have been as difficult. But it was fine, and my meal tasted so good. So I put, um, I didn't measure, but I think it was probably about a third, a, cup, a third of a cup of almond flour with, um, Probably a tablespoon of coconut flour, maybe a little less because I didn't know how that would taste, so I just did a little bit and then I did salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, and paprika. And I had already marinated um, the uh, chicken thighs and chicken legs in buttermilk. So I just took it out and then I just pressed the mixture onto it and then fried it in coconut oil, which I showed you in my video from yesterday. Um, and it turned out super great. It was really flavorful. It had a nice little crunch to it. I think the only difference I would do the next time I make it is that I would um, have the coconut oil at a much lower temperature. Um, because I kind of burn them when I first set them in. Um, and I don't know if it was the... It might have been the onion, uh, almond flour and coconut flour kind of making a burned... It, maybe they burned fast. I don't know. So it needs to be cooked at a lower heat temperature. But it was pretty good. I really enjoyed that. And my salad was great. I had been craving a side salad for days. And um, I ate half of that cauliflower mash that I showed you with the cheese on top. Um, it was actually a small head of cauliflower that I just boiled and then um, squeezed.
squeeze every bit of moisture I could get out of it with a towel. And then I added in probably about a tablespoon of butter and probably a couple tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and then salt and pepper. Mixed, blended it up. And then I, well, I waited till the cauliflower cooled before I squeezed out the water because I've done it in the past when it's hot and it has burnt my hands. So, um, and then I just warmed it up in the microwave and added the cheese on top. And it was pretty good. It actually tasted better than I, um, when I've made it in the past. Um, but I was so full I could only eat half of it. And then I saved two of the, ch I ate the two chicken legs and then I saved two for... Uh, today. So actually it's a chicken leg and a chicken thigh that I have left for today. So um, I would definitely make that again. That was excellent. It was a, a fun treat and I didn't feel like I was missing out at all, which is good because um, I love fried chicken, traditional fried chicken and traditional mashed potatoes. They're delicious, but um, they're not good for me. So that turned out to be a good thing. And I was going to make a keto chocolate mug cake um, that I had seen somewhere on YouTube. I'm not, I can't remember where I saw it, but um, I found a chocolate chip halo, or a mint chocolate chip halo top ice cream in our freezer um, the other day, which I had forgotten I had, and so that sounded a lot more fun to me, so I ate it. That's what I had. And we have a busy day today. Like we always do. Well, it's not busy like hard. Just we want to get some yard work done and then um, go play at the pool. So I guess it's actually not busy. It's actually a pretty casual day. The kids are super excited about that. And um, hopefully we'll watch a movie tonight from Redbox. You just wait and see what's available because um, I kind of waited a little too late maybe to get one reserved that's um, popular. Like we're thinking either the... How to Train Your Dragon, I think it's the third one, or Mary Poppins or something like that. So it's going to be a nice day. It's absolutely gorgeous here today. And then the rest of the week is going to be rainy. So I think I'm going to spend the rest of the week braiding my girl's hair since we won't be able to go to the pool. So that's the plan right now. But I'm going to eat my breakfast and I will check in around lunchtime. Well, we're back from swimming. I didn't swim. Uh, it was a little too cold for me, and it even rained at one point. We did have some nice sunny parts, but pretty much it was cold, and I just was not interested in getting wet and cold. Um, I, I did not have lunch today. I was pretty much, well, I wasn't that hungry when it was time for lunch, but I was also very busy with um, yard work. So... I didn't eat anything and I just went to the pool, but I did bring like a little sandwich size baggie full of chicharrones and I ended up eating about half of that bag. Um, and I also had a Gatorade Zero and I drank probably um, a third of it. Um, it was one of the bigger ones. Um, so um, that was what I did because I was hungry and I was at the pool. Um, we're about ready to have dinner. And I'm just going to have my leftover fried chicken that I made last night. Um, uh, I have a thigh and a leg. So I'm going to eat those and a side salad with ranch dressing and then also um, my leftover cauliflower mash that was from last night also. So it'll be good. That's going to be a nice dinner. Um... And I will go ahead and show a video of it, even though it's kind of the same thing. Well, it is the same thing I had last night. Um, I just think visuals are kind of nice. Um, and then we're watching the How to, Drain Your, uh, How to Train Your Dragon 3 as a family. So I've heard that's good. Hopefully it is. We like those, the first one and the second one of those that series. It's good. Um, it's been a nice day overall. We got some good yard work in and um, spending time with friends because a lot of our friends were at the pool, so that was fun. Uh, the kids just swam and the adults pretty much just sat around and visited. So it was a good Memorial Day. We've had a nice day so far. So I will check in later. So here's my leftover cauliflower mash. I put a little bit more cheese on it. My salad with ranch dressing, cucumbers and lettuce and spinach. 
and that ranch dressing is homemade. And then here's my two chickens left over from last night. I warmed them up in the oven again, so they look even a little more burnt, but I tasted a piece and it was fine. So that is going to be my dinner. I think I forgot to mention this, but when I made this fried chicken yesterday, I made it with almond flour and coconut flour and cooked it in coconut oil. So, and it's still really moist on the inside, a little burnt on the outside, but it tastes good. Couldn't finish my cauliflower mash and gave it to my kids. I ate one chicken, about half of my salad, and I'm trying to force myself to eat the other piece of chicken. And I'm so full. So, I'm not sure uh, if I'm finishing this whole dinner. We're at the pool. It's freezing cold. Um, it's about, I think, 11.30, so we won't be here very long. But um, I forgot to put up my video yesterday, so maybe I'll just make one for yesterday and today. So, so far I haven't eaten anything at all today. I don't feel too badly hungry, so I'm trying to wait because I feel like I have... Um, um, uh, I need to challenge myself a little more to maybe um, wait to eat until I'm really hungry. So I do have these two hard-boiled eggs with salt and pepper that I'm going to plan to eat later on if um, I get hungry or whatever. But um, that's all I have planned for now. And it's almost lunchtime anyway, so I might just take those back home and eat them with whatever I have for lunch. I thought I'd just check in and say hello. So I had to go to Walmart to drop off the red box and get a prescription from my doctor. And while I was waiting, I went and looked at um, uh, their pork rinds. Salt and vinegar. I'm so excited. They do have maltodextrin in them. Sorry, this is the worst. But um, no carbs, so I'm going to eat some of these today. Wow. That's vinegary. And salty. Okay. Had to try them. So I went ahead and made myself a peppermint herbal tea with a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream because it is freezing. Um, outside and I'm so cold from the pool and it's raining now and it just feels cold because I was just sitting there so I'm actually right now looking at this science um, lesson that I gotta um, teach uh, actually I'm gonna flip it to the other side just a second so uh, a friend of mine and I, she homeschools too. Um, we've got we've gotten together this summer to do science together. So the subject that we're doing um, is marine biology, and she taught the first lesson last week, and I'm teaching the second one Thursday. So I'm just going over it to um, get ready to be able to do that while I um, drink my my herbal tea because it's just so cold and I'm waiting for my daughter to wash her hair and pick it out really well so that I can um, braid it for her anyway so that's what I'm doing right now and while I'm doing this I'm trying to think of what I can quickly make to eat that will fill me up and make me feel good and ready to go for a few hours this is all I can think of, so I'm going to have cook and have four pieces of bacon. Bacon. So I ha wanted to have some fried chicken again, and I had already finished off my fried chicken from Sunday. So I went ahead and got a chicken breast, sliced it into four. And then I just dredged it, just a minute Henry, I just dredged it in um, almond flour and coconut flour and salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika. And then that, yeah, and then this is the coconut oil again that I'm cooking it in. So I hope it tastes as good as the other chicken did. It was cooking a little differently, but I think it's because it doesn't have anything to grab onto because it's a chicken broth. I'm going to enjoy it anyways. 
This is the finished product. I will probably eat two of these. We'll see though. Good morning. It's Wednesday morning. I did not finish videoing last night. Um, that chicken was very hard for me to eat. It was moist, but um, I don't know why, but the breading on the outside didn't taste right. It did not taste like when I did the chicken leg and chicken thigh with skin and bone. So, And I had also marinated those in buttermilk and I didn't the chicken breast. So I don't think I'll make that chicken ever again. I could barely eat two. I had to force myself to eat two of them. I do have two more for today that I'll probably eat at some point just because they're there and easy. But um, we ended up watching the movie Mary Poppins, which was, oh, just so boring. I'm sorry. Sorry for those of you who liked it, but it was just very boring to me. Fell asleep during some of it. Um, and I also had some more Halo Top mint chocolate ice cream with um, heavy whipping cream. So my day yesterday wasn't the greatest because I ate two hard boiled eggs, a handful of the salt and vinegar chicharrones or pork rinds, and four pieces of bacon, an herbal tea with heavy whipping cream, those two chickens fried in coconut oil with coconut flour and almond flour on them, and then Halo Top ice cream. So I didn't even have any vegetables now that I'm thinking about it. It's, it was just not the greatest eating day. So, you know, some days are like that. Uh, it's not the best, but um, sometimes you just kind of have to get through a day like that. Um, I do want to try a little harder to plan ahead and make some more exciting meals um, and do better with getting in vegetables and, and things like that. But that was yesterday. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together and upload it. And I'm not sure if I'm going to actually video today because... I have got to get braiding on my girl's hair. As I, I think I mentioned that in a video that I ended up deleting. I had videoed for like, I don't know, 15 minutes at the pool yesterday. And as I was watching it again, it was so um, boring because I was bored. I was just sitting there watching my kids swim. And so I was just rambling and nobody cares about that. So... I ended up just deleting that, but I think in there is when I talked about the hair braiding. So, um, I've only got half of one of my girl's hair done and I have two more to do. My, one of my older daughters is going to do my youngest daughter's hair for me. So that's really kind. I really appreciate that. But we need to get it done this week because they have basketball camp on Monday and it's just easy that they, they like to have their hair done for these sorts of things. So anyway, I'm just going to be really busy the next few days so I will try to video but I'm not sure if I'll be able to get it together well so I will catch you when I can